Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and this is Richie's rapid review for a video game called Through the Darkest of Times, which is currently £13 on Steam. So the back of the box quote for this one would probably have to read, The Darkest Time in Human History. So what type of game have we got here? Well, going into this game, I didn't truly know what to expect but what I experienced will stay with me forever. You play the role of a resistance leader who is trying to organise the disruption of the Hitler regime in 1933 Berlin and beyond. Your game will see you through the major events from 1933 onwards into World War II. And some of the things that you will experience in this video game will truly ram home how it felt to live in a Germany at this dark time of history. The core game loop will see you planning missions to disrupt Hitler's unspeakable crimes against humanity through the use of supporters, propaganda, violence and espionage. You will look to build a loyal team of resistance fighters who all possess different skills that will spell out success or failure in each of the missions you undertake on the mission map. You'll find yourself torn on whether to take risks to free one of your resistance brothers or sisters from jail after being rounded up by the police, SA or SS. You'll have to also make tough decisions on whether to keep team members in your group due to family allegiances with certain political groups. At every turn, morale will take a beating due to the relentless oppressive Hitler administration that is clearly leading the country into war. The game is an intriguing and eye-opening video game that deals with this piece of history in a way that doesn't try and dumb down what atrocities occurred during this terrible time in history. It is a compelling case for including these type of video games within schools that study this period of history. This game needs to be played by any person who has ever wondered what does it feel like to live in a country where your friends and family are persecuted on a daily basis? The look and feel of the game seems to capture perfectly the utter despair of the situation whilst offering up some brief optimism of a better future. This video game is a truly touching game that I can wholeheartedly recommend as a tactical strategy game as well as a piece of historical literature. I therefore award it an ice cool rating. Right, I'm off to drum up enough support to raise morale before I ask the team to produce leaflets and gather intel on the SA. Goodbye my friends.